What's up YouTube and welcome back to Scorcher's Lounge where today we're going to be doing a review on the Jordan 1 J Balvin. Alright, here's a look at the box. It's an all black box. Regular Nike box, however, the Nike sign right here has all these colors. And then on the sides and the front, you have like this real light pink foam. Now let's get to the label. Label reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG J for J Balvin. Style code DC3481, color code 900. Multicolor, multicolor black. Size 11, my size. For a retail price of $190. Now this is a uh, special collab with Jordan Brand and J Balvin. A lot of people always say that J Balvin was the first Latin artist to have a Jordan. But man, everyone forget about Fat Joe. Fat Joe in the 2000s was killing the game. He was like, to be honest, I believe he was the first non-athlete to have his own Jordans. With the TS on it and stuff. Man, them things was crazy. And he had a whole bunch of Air Forces. He's Fat Joe is top three in the game of sneakers. And not like new people that's coming in and be, being a part of the game. He's been a part of culture for a minute. So now, let's flip the lid. You have your Nike suits right there with your stamp. Here goes your waxy paper. And on the paper, you're going to see a basketball right there. A Jordan logo right here. The J Balvin happy face right there. A little thunderbolt right there in pink. And then it comes with extra laces, which I'll get to in a second. Now, I wore these like five or six times. I love this shoe. I love colors, as you can see. And, you know, how to support the Latinos. You know what I'm saying? But it comes with all this extra stuff, which I get to in a second. Now, let's pop out the shoe. It comes with an extra regular tissue paper. Got this from eBay. Because I couldn't get it on release day. Jeez Louise. Alright. Let's put this away. Put this right there. Put this right here. Okay. So, here it is. Your Jordan 1 J Balvin. And I'm definitely going to try to get the Jordan 2 that's coming out. But... It, the upper has so many colors, the material is different. It's like a jean, it's like a denim material, like a jean material, but it's not denim. And then, the whole point of this shoe, at this time, J Balvin was like all about colors. And they put all his albums together, all the colors from his album, all the three albums, they put it in one shoe. And that's why... This shoe is so, like, it's so bright and vibrant. Another thing, they were talking about, there's a lot of things on why this is a color the way it is. They were talking about that when you play the instruments, that the vibrations of the instruments you play and the vocals, you know how when you're on the mic, it has the vocal, uh, the colors that goes from like red, green, and up and down like that. They were talking about that that's another reason why all the colors like just radiate ra radiate from blue, green, yellow, and all that from inside out. And they was also talking about the temperature. Like when you look at a, like a, like a map, like a heat map. They was talking about that. But from his own words, all the three albums together created all this color. And that's why we have all these crazy colors. And that's why I love the shoe. So, let's get the shoe tree out. So right here, you're gonna see a little patch. You can take the patch off. Now, I left it, uh, I left it uh, original. 
I left it with its original J Balvin on this one. And then it got the Jordan logo on this one. That's the way I left it. However, you can play with it as much as you want. So you can take that patch out. It comes with a bag with forced patches. And then if you want to put the basketball on it, you can put the basketball on it. If you want to put... Uh, oh, there's, oh, so it's two basketballs. It's two basketballs, two pink with the yellow lighting right here. And then the only ones that is not doubled up is this one. These are the only two. You know what? Let me put it back on the sneaker so it's easy to show you. So that's how it looks like that. And you could put both of them matching. If you want to put both sneakers with the pink. We will put both sneakers with the pink right here. Both sneakers with the basketball right there. If you want to do one and one, you can. If you want to do nothing and just leave it like this, you can. I decided to just keep it stock the way it was. Actually, this is the first time I ever unvelcroed it. So now I got to do it so perfectly <laughs> the way it came. All right. Now, this is the way it came. This is the way it came right there. That's the way I like it. It's too different. Both of them are different. And the one thing that they usually do, what they have on one shoe, it's on the other, right? So you see right here, I got the Jordan logo. And then right here, I got the uh, Jordan logo here. And then right here, I got the Thunder. And then right here, the one with the Jordan logo has a happy face, which is this one right here. See what I'm saying? And then behind that tongue, you have the Jordan logo. And then on this one, they did the same exact thing on the tongue patch, but reversed. So right here, you have the lightning bolt. And then you got the lightning bolt in the back end. But on the front, you got the Jordan logo. No Nike Air on the, on the tongue patch. Then the foam, I believe they're calling it pink foam, if I'm not mistaken. But the tongue is exposed foam kind of like the off-whites see that right there then the inside is satin and then you know my favorite part the shoe tree uh oh these are these are kind of hard all right so hold on so on the shoe tree I mean not the shoe tree on the insoles you're gonna have this symbol right there I'm gonna show you right here on both of them they're both the same. They're both the same symbol right there. And then this is what I was trying to tell you again. I know I bring this up, but I just want you to be aware. The reason why Drake almost left Jordan brand is for this. Another Jordan 1, one of the most coveted shoes in the game. But he put his own material, his own spin, his own colors. And look at the Nike check. You see the Nike check right here? Behind it, you have like that black leather. And then it's all rigid. It's all rigid because um, if you ever watch his concerts, he got like this big, um, what do you call that? Like a stuff, and, what do you call those? Muppet, like a Muppet suits, like a Disney World and stuff, how they have that. He got his own too. And they're all cut up like this. You see how it's all cut up like a, you know, like a flap, you know, and... J Balvin had his whole hands on this shoe. Travis Scott had his whole hand on his shoe. Meanwhile, Drake was just picking colors. Very, very bad decision by Jordan Brand. However, it's not about Drake. But this is right here by shoe. Like, I wore this shoe. There are shoes that have been in here. There are shoes that have been in here for over 15 years. And I didn't even wear them or I wore them once or twice. I wore this shoe at least five or six times. I love this shoe. It brings a great attention. I also wanted to make sure, I, like I said earlier, you know, represent from Latinos. You know what I mean? Fat Joe, hit me up. I, I need a Fat Joe one over here. I need a Fat Joe J, you know? But it comes with the black laces, as usually most of them do. They come with the regular black laces. Now, this is the additional laces. You have the lime green. You have the pink foam. And then you got the white laces right there. 
And that right there will end this video. Man, I love this shoe. That right there will end this video. Just a quick reminder. On all my socials. Scorchers Lounge. The same way you saw this video. Scorchers underscore Lounge. Is on all my socials. On TikTok. On Instagram. And on Trade Block as well. If you want to make some trades with me. Hit me up on Trade Block. Let's see what we can do. And work something out. I got a few sneakers on there. All my size usually. Because I don't buy any other sizes. However, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, so you become a lounger and be a part of the family. Also, pretty soon in one of my next few videos, I'm going to uh, explain this whole football thing going on because I love football. And I have a football pool that you can join, a $10 weekly football pick em pool. You can join. Um, there's a lot of people in it. This is my second year doing it, and I love football, so I love sneakers, and I'm just going to combine them both. So I'm going to have more info on that later. Until next time, loungers, peace out.